Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, I need to hurry up because I'm about to die from thirst. So we're gonna go hunting here. Um, and try to get some, uh, some water via, hmm, salt. Yeah, I only have 11 left. I get about three per fish that I kill. So I might be able to prolong the inevitable by killing one of these guys. Maybe. Maybe I'm just gonna end up drowning. So they give me three HTO, uh, H2O per kill. So if I can just keep doing this here, I might be able to stabilize myself temporarily off of these poor, poor creatures. Alright, we're at 20 now. This is not the most efficient way to get water, but it is doing something. Uh oh. There we go. All right. So, this is not the best way to get water by a long shot, but it's doing something. All right, let's see what's around us here for us to scavenge. Maybe if we're lucky, some of these wrecks will have a bottle of water on them. As if I'm not fortunate. Whoa, that's cool. So, let's see if we can find an entrance. Oh, there we go, right there. Already been in here? Perhaps. Hmm. There's a laser cut door though. Let's. We have about a minute left of oxygen, so we might have to just cut this and head back real fast. Alright, cool. And I don't have a light source. Let's see. Right there. Oh. That's not good. Alright, let's head back down here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something. Oh, cool. Reinforced dive suit. Nutrient block. The exact opposite of what I need. Um, and that's about it. A reinforced dive suit and something over here. Light stick fragment. Nice. Okay, so I do remember the last episode I managed to get my hands on the vehicle bay modification station. So we're going to take the Seamoth in 
and do a little bit of work on her if we can. And hopefully get back in time so I can drink some water and not drown. Or, uh, die from dehydration. Same thing. If you really think about it. Okay, like, not even close to the same thing, but still. Like, you know. You guys are smart. You know what I meant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, at least we're in habitable areas that aren't super deadly. Perhaps. Oh, this is so enlightening. So much fun. Traveling one kilometer in order to get back to the life pod so I can live. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And we still don't have a Cyclops yet, because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to search for things. So... Alright, let's get some water. Okay, I don't have any water in here. Not good. I do have table core, we're gonna need that. We're gonna store the copper in there. Hmm. Okay, so nothing readily available for water, so what's going to happen is, is we're going to go get a bladder fish and we're going to squeeze the life force out of that real fast, or get lucky and find a salt pile, but it looks like, come on, I'm clicking, there we go, you too. Get back here. And... Yeah. We're gonna go throw those two in the, uh... Crafter and get some water. So, this way we can actually maybe, uh... Survive. So let's uh, drink that. There we go. So we're going to probably head out back out for salt in a little bit. So that way we can mass produce water. But in the meantime, now that we have the materials to do so, how about we add that vehicle station thing? Computer chip and copper wire is still needed. So let's take a look at what's what that requires. So we need... Table coral, gold, and copper wire. So we're going to need a lot of copper. Which just so happens that we have a lot of copper wire. As well as table coral. What a coincidence. Wow, we actually have a lot of bleach. Oh yeah, I stocked up on that stuff. Cool. So there is a, a way out, I guess. So I can go grab the bleach and actually I uh, get some water. So we're good. We're good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and build one of these guys. Yes. One of the goodest of upgrades to do on the mono pool. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So I just locked my thing up there. Okay, we're gonna do. Let's make it a little bit of a darker color. And let's make it. Oh, that's kind of cool. With a. Yeah. There we go. Done. 
All right. So we can get this one. And technically this one too. So, and this one. So we're going to do the storage and dev module first. So we're going to get some lithium and as well as just picking up some other stuff here. Not the not those. Okay. Going to get some glass. Some blue sky. And I am fully aware of what I just said. Okay. And there. Okay, that should do quite a bit. Um, hmm. Whoa, that was weird. That noise. Hmm. I don't recognize that sound. Okay. 300 meters. That's still... That's better, but that's not the best. So, let's um, get some more lithium and more titanium, I guess. And um, let's throw some bleach into the uh, thing so that way we can get some water. Ah, <sighs> water. What would I do without you? dry up into a little crisp or something like that. Alright, so, um... We need... More titanium. So let's go get some more titanium, shall we? And I know just where to look. Okay, so stalkers have fun habits of collecting uh, scrap metal. So we're going to go and um, find some of their nests and uh, tear them apart in little pieces. So we got to find them first. Hmm. There's, uh, there's some scrap metal right there. Alright, that's what we needed. We're heading back. So, with that scrap metal, we can deconstruct that. And that'll give us the resources we need for our next module. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at that depth suit that we were talking about. Okay, we have synthetic fibers. I don't think I have access to the synthetic fibers uh, material. So, fins. Do I, do I have fins? Yes, I do have fins. But I do not have the resources required for the reinforced dive suit. All right. So, this should help out quite a bit with uh, the Seamoth here. Because, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to help out. We can store entire buildings in there, basically. Which is what I plan to do. Hmm. So the question becomes, well, I'm going to move the storage unit um, down to there. 
so that way it's symmetrical with its storage. Okay. So now we need the modification station. Which is... Um, actually pretty cheap. Let's get lead. We're going to need some more gold. Uh, copper as well. Which we actually don't really have a lot of copper. So that's going to be great. So let's go find some copper. So, we just got to go search in here. I hate looking for copper. Because, like, titanium we can literally just pick up, pick up off the ground. But, like, copper? Nah, nah, nah. Either bronze suit or uh, better luck next time, buddy. Okay, we need more, more copper. Oh crap. <sighs> Where is my copper? I know you're hiding it from me, game. I know you have more copper for me. There's some. All right, now we just need one more of those and we should be set. I know it said a computer chip and it didn't ask for a... Uh, for... Uh, the uh for more copper stalker tooth that's worth a lot actually that's pretty good cool all right so that should be enough copper to build a modification station and who knows, we might actually have the resources to increase the Seamoth depth module and go deeper than ever thought possible. So, let's uh, build that computer chip, which requires copper wire. All right. And there we go. We're just gonna plop that down right there. And uh, let's see what we can modify. Absolutely nothing. We can do ultra glide fins. That's pretty easy to get a my hands on though. Uh, pastel ingots. I don't remember how to get those. What the look at that. We already have a heated knife, so we're gonna go on that. Um. If we can just get our hands on, uh, I don't know where I get magnite at. We need magnite. Do I have any? I have rubies, but not magnite. Ugh, great. Okay, what does it take to make a pastel? I'm pretty sure it's lead. No, it's lithium, okay. So what is it? What are, we, what are we trying to build here again? Oh yeah, an expanded. Oh no, it's just a lightweight air tank. Um, hmm. <sighs> I may as well. I really may as well do it. Do I even have enough titanium? No, I do not. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to store a lot of my junk here. Uh, we're going to make some more water. 
Where's my bleach at? Where are all my chemicals? Did I use all my chemicals? Huh, I must have used all my chemicals. Um, oh, no, I still have more. I'm just blind as a bat. Okay. So now, our sea moth is going to be super good for exploration. I mean, we're going to be able to do a lot more, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and change out a lot of the batteries on our tools here. So, this way we can, uh... You know, have working tools. It's kind of an important thing to have, I guess. Um, now we're just gonna, and let's see what else might need, uh, hmm, we'll just keep the charge batteries on us. Can we throw another battery on there? No, we cannot. All right, well, let's get to work. So... All right. So we're gonna head back in this direction here and go a little bit deeper than we've been previously in the game because now the sea moth will allow us to make deeper explorations without needing to worry about losing whole integrity. Actually, we might be able to actually kind of explore this area a little bit. Let's go back down here and have a little bit of fun, shall we? Because now we can actually, you know, see what's going on without needing to worry about uh, crush depth. So, that's cool. Huh. Actually, a lot more to this area than I remember there being. Ooh, those noises are cool. Noses, noises. Lots and lots of dead, uh, dead animals here. Have I already looted that? I think I have. Hmm. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. Hmm. Alrighty. Well. Um. See, this is kind of the weird thing about this now, is because I've actually never explored this area with the sea moth. So I actually feel safe. Because last time we had to do strafing runs and uh, go back and forth to the depth zone that the sea moth could actually survive in. But now we can just kind of like meander around in here safely. Whoa, that's cool. So. I wonder if we'll find any goodies now that we're actually able to go like you know, deeper. This area is huge. I never realized that before. Or maybe I did, I just never like actually. Wow. Oh, my bad. Oh shoot, the grassy habitat.
Yes, the multi-purpose room. That is exactly what we need. So we're going to see how much of this stuff we can scan here before uh, moving on. So we got some not so friendlies around here. Let's get some air back in the system before we go inside. I don't think I have any of these. All right. Where is the entrance? Oh, what's this? A more thermal print plant. Oh, snap, magnite. Cool. That means it's abundant down here. Cool. Someone's not very happy with me being down here. Water filtration machine. That's going to be awesome to have. Okay. Um, I'm a little worried that I might end up drowning. So I'm gonna go get some more oxygen before that happens. Oh wait, what's down here? PDA. Ah. Get pranked, bro. I need to get into here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ultra high capacity tank. Oh, all right. Huh. You know? Oh, it's not right there. I don't think they're very happy that I'm here. It's almost like they don't want me around. Nah, that's not, that can't be the case. Cause like everyone like likes me and whatnot, so why would anyone ever want me out of here? Psh, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ah, uh, don't say that. That just means I have to go freaking into the way depths, man. Don't do that to me. Yeah, I'm working on it. Did I get all the PDAs? I think I did. It's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. 
All right, well, it seems like I've gotten all the PDAs. You know, if they weren't such aggressive little, like, monsters, the noises that those, that those uh, worms make are, like, super cool. Looks like we've got some more exploration to do. Let's see what we got. So this might be kind of a cool screenshot. So that's what we're gonna do real fast. We're gonna get ourselves a screenshot. Okay. All right, there we go. Hopefully that turned out all right. I'll do a second one probably in a little bit just in case if there's like a problem with that one. Hmm. I'm looking for more of those little like uh, magnite crystals. Oops. So there are areas in here that do exceed 300. That's a little unfortunate. Hmm. Is that a fish printed on there? Maybe. Maybe it's just like a random pattern generated by accident. Stop it! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Ugh. All right, let's see. Hmm. Um. God, those things are so annoying when they scream. I want to see what else this place has to offer when it comes to like, you know, possible loot and whatnot. I also want to find more of those little uh, crystal things because those are kind of a not an easy to get resource. So, hmm. Let's uh, skedaddle out of here. You know, there's probably like a, like a parts to uh, fun stuff down here that I'm not quite noticing or something like that. Nah, that's just my uh, imagination trying to make me stay down here and keep exploring. 
And despite the spooky noises, it's working. Yes, right there. That's what I needed, was that. On the bright side, I now know that if I ever need to uh, find Magna, I can just come down here. Because it's everywhere down here. Absolutely everywhere. I just need a prawn suit. Which is a pain to get um, my hands on. So, with the drill arm. Where? Is there like really like not a lot of them? Are they kind of rare down here? Oh, there's one. They're just hard to see. Okay. So now I kind of know what to, know what to look for because I'm kind of dumb like that sometimes. Or I'll just like go over things and completely miss it. I've already been here. Yeah, I probably have. Yep. Um, yeah, there really isn't a lot of, um, of crash sites and whatnot for, you know, very specific reasons, such as this is telling a cave system, so it's not like, you know, there can be any salvage down here. So I don't think I'm going to find any parts to, uh, to the Cyclops down here. I don't know why I was expecting, maybe I would, but um, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting desperate now because I've been searching for a long time and it did not take me nearly this long last time to find all the parts to my Cyclops. So yeah, I'm a little frustrated. <sighs> well, it is that time of night. No, don't do that. Alright, we're gonna get in the Seamoth and get out of here. Where... Those things will no longer be hunting me. You know, if we can find an exit, that is. Kind of doesn't seem like that's going to be a real easy thing to find. Okay, um, the exits are not easy to find. It's not like I can just, like, you know, backtrace my stuff to the seam off. I guess this is where that, um, that one tool would really come in handy, actually. That allows you to kind of see the layout of caves. Yeah, that would really come in handy, actually. Oh, maybe right up here. Considering this is one of the higher points in the cave system. Maybe, maybe not. No. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's got to be an exit around here somewhere, right? Can't just go on forever. Well, I guess it, 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 no, it'll have to end. OK, 
Okay, so we're actually technically a above okay whatever doesn't matter okay so we're back at the habitat oh there's like a spot up here cool right up here maybe possibly perhaps please Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, well, uh... Yeah, that was something. That area is really fun to explore, but like... Spooky at the same time. What is that down there? None of my concern. Um, oh. Hey, more crash. No, that's, that's a rock formations. Kind of thought that was a crash. So, we're gonna wander down here real fast and, uh, Oh wow, we're getting the spooky parts here. What's that? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, so despite this being the big spook area, we are in the right area for the Cyclops engine. We might actually friggin' get it this episode. Ah, great. We got some big hungry boys taking bites out of our sea moth. Is that... Please don't let that be part of the engine fragment. Okay, good scanner room. Because I see those things everywhere. And if that turns out to be part of the engine, I'm going to be a little mad. Buzz off, boy. Right there. There it is. No. Scanner room fragment. Ugh. Whoa. Uh. Please let's not play this game right now. I'm busy. Where the frick frack are we? Oh, we're underneath the floating islands. Okay. How how deep can we go down here before it like starts to kill this like the little uh, sea moth buddy? Holy crap! That goes down deep. Okay, but like we know we're in the right area though, because for some reason we found an engine piece in this area, and maybe if I'm lucky we can actually get the engine finally unlocked. <laughs> Ah, uh, can we not play this game? <sighs> I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's real helpful. Uh.
No. Okay. <gasps> please, 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 please. <sighs> this is frustrating. I should definitely get more help. Oh crap, I'm dead. Come on. This is not fair at all. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. can't do this right now. Usual. Oh, whoa, what's that? Oh, well, what's this? Scanner room fragment. Just what I wanted. Whoa. Not whoa. Whoa. Okay. I actually don't think I found this place last time I, was, I played. Whoa. That's like an entire section of the Aurora. There may be a migration path, a huge bottom dwelling life form. Reactor fragment. Do I need more reactor stuff? Let's find out. Doesn't matter. Titanium. See, <laughs> ain't Yeah, I know. If only there were Cyclops. Engine fragments in the area. If only. Because now that would be great. Is that okay? Maybe I'll get lucky and find ended fragments here. There's whole fragments. So maybe there is engine fragments here. Just hiding. Like, it's not, you know, that far of a stretch, right? Docking bay repair module. Okay, I'm getting a lot of Cyclops stuff, but, uh... Not really any, uh, engine fragments. Picture frame. Yeah, because that's what I need. Uh, 
Uh, more whole fragments, huh? Because that's what I need, is more of those. Not the engine or anything. I think I've seen like probably more than 12 whole fragments in this playthrough. But only two engine fragments apparently. Seriously? Do you not have anything inside of you? Okay, good, you do. That's gonna be a pain to get in and out of. I can already see it. All right, let's cut this down. Then we're gonna need to run back to the sea moth and then uh, <sighs> run back up here because why not? Why not? Okay. All right, back in we go. God, these like it's like the worst thing like to navigate into. Oh, yay. Because that's what I needed. Tools for a suit that I don't have yet. Well, I, I have it, but I don't like. Uh, more prawn suit fragments. Yay. But not a single Cyclops engine bay fragment. Cyclops shield generator. Uh. But not a single piece of the engine. Not one. Not a single engine piece throughout all of this. Incredible. I mean, you had like 80 whole fragments. Would it really hurt you to put just one single engine fragment just around here? Just one, please, for me. <sighs> oh boy, of course. Why wouldn't it be down here? Why wouldn't it be...
Okay. Well. Is it down here? It is not. So it turns out it was not down there. To my knowledge, anyways. Shoot. Cyclops engine. It's never a Cyclops engine. Ah, dude. That was not fun. Did I get everything from down here? No. Okay, you know, I think it's time for me to throw in the towel and, uh, maybe admit that maybe I should try a different approach here because, uh, I'm getting attacked by ghost leviathans, I'm getting nowhere with this search, I'm hitting walls, I'm tired, it's probably 1.20 a.m., Ugh, well, I mean, we'll just call this a special feature. It's like a movie, pretty much. I don't want to just, like, give up and, like, stop searching for this stupid engine because I'm just, I'm spending way too much time looking for this thing. Doesn't help that the flashlight looks like, you know, it's reflecting and making objects. That's, that's great. It really doesn't help. The scanner room looks like it's engine fragment. I don't trust that. Last time I trusted that, there was a ghost of Vyth and it snuck up on me. Oh, wow, a scanner room fragment. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, 
Hey, let's uh, let's make our scanner room fragments look exactly like the Cyclops engine fragments. What could go wrong besides disappointment? Holy crap, I can't believe I've been doing this for 90 minutes. No, oh, that sucks. He's dead. Oh my gosh. Okay. What were the ingredients again? A lot of steel. We have a lot of steel. Copper, gold, and table coral. So we have gold, plenty of gold. Um, all right, we're gonna get copper next episode. <sighs> Great. All right, well, hopefully next episode goes better and not super uh, terrible like this one did. Anyways, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Like, I have, I cannot tell you how much I actually appreciate that. There is no way any of you made it this far. Like, not a single chance. Because I know for a fact, like, barely any of you will make it through a regular Subnautica video, let alone one that's 90 minutes long. So... Wow. Um, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I cannot begin to explain my appreciation for that. And thank you for watching and have a fantastic night.